Hey, welcome to the stream. I am Little Red Toy. You lost your crown, your tiara. Put it back on. Who are you? I am Glitter Pinkie Pie. Glitter Pinkie Pie? What kind of name is that? Princess name. A princess name. Very cool. So what are we going to do today? Well, what is today anyway? It's my 8th birthday. That's why I have my 8th birthday tiara on. Very nice. Where's my tiara? Yeah, this is not your birthday. Your boys don't wear tiaras. They We're, wear crowns. We wear crowns. That's right. So again, I'm Little Red Toy. This is Glitter Pinkie Pie. All right, that's the name she just came up with today. And we're going to do her birthday stream today. This is what she wanted for her birthday. She wanted to stream us making what, Isabella? Oh, guacamole. Glitter Pinkie Pie. What are we making? Guacamole. Roger that. So what do we need for guacamole? You need four ripe avocados. And how you tell us that you're ripe is that you take your four fingers and then you put your thumb on top and then you just... Gently squeeze it. If it's if it squeezes a little too much, then it's a bad one. But if it's nice yeah. and soft a little bit, yeah. yeah, go ahead and cut it. So we're gonna cut those up. What else do we need? We you need four Velma or plum tomatoes. All right, got those. What else? Two limes, or you can use lemons. All right. Well, why do we? Well, we only use lemons when we don't have any limes, right? Yeah. What else? You you need some salt to give it some flavoring. All right. And you need, well, you need an onion and one clove of garlic, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, I do I do about three yeah. cloves of garlic. It depends. Yeah, it depends, it depends on depends. how much you make. And I like to use yellow onions. Yeah. You so this is a recipe that, you know, was kind of evolved over time. I don't like, what don't I like in guacamole? Cilantro. Why? Why not? It's because you're allergic to it. I'm like, I have some kind of allergy yeah. to cilantro, so I don't need it. But yeah. you don't really miss it when you make this recipe, so it's pretty cool. So we're gonna start. Yeah. Um, what should we do first? Oh, what is this? What this is, this is um, a mocha hete. You a use it to um, kind of like I don't know. Um, you use it to mash up the avocado. Okay. And you can use a spoon to stir the, um, the avocado and all your other ingredients up with. Right, let me see if and I. And it's made of lava rock. Made out of lava rock. Yeah. Say what? Now we have a lot of avocado, so you know what I need to do. I forgot to get the phone bowl that I used this morning for breakfast in the water. So you talk to the stream. Yeah, and... Tell them about your birthday. My birthday was pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, I got a looming band kit, which you don't, if you don't know, it's a little thing where you take rubber bands and you like weave together rubber bands and you can make really cool bracelets. I'm working on a fishtail one for my first bracelet. It's a pink and blue one, and then I'm going to make a rainbow one as I get better at it. Very cool. So, yeah, and I also got Jojo Siwa concert tickets. I already went with two of my best friends. One, their um, one of them, their birthday was just yesterday, so we're, we're the same exact age. It's the same year, same month, so... And then so, I went with one of my other friends. She was born in February, though. Very cool. On Valentine's Day. All right, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to cut the avocado. Giancarlo just walked downstairs. Hey, this is an IRL stream. It's in real life. So if you got to talk, guys, you can talk. It's okay. You know? It is what it is. So we cut the avocado, all right? Yeah, and... That's a really nice looking avocado. Mm -hmm. That will make it tasty even better. It comes a little soft up at the top, but I think... It's gonna be perfect. Yeah. Come here, Giancarlo. Hey, come here, dude. The teenage years are gonna be fun. <laughs> Let's twist it. Yeah, you twist it and pull. Come here, buddy. You wanna be in with us? You wanna help us? You can jump up here with us? Look, yeah, just screw it here. You can stay right there. He's just watching something on his He's phone. He's watching junk drawer magic on YouTube. Yeah. Well, at least I think that's why he's watching. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Then you twist it to get the pit off. I'm going to change one thing here in the screen here, guys. So just bear with me. I'm guessing that that's mommy. Watching us. Ah, it's probably your mommy watching us. So it's okay. Yeah. All right, so there. Oh, I forgot that I put that there. <laughs> so there's 
So there we go. I've cut the avocados. Now what do I do? You need to get the pit out. Right. So, so you be very careful, yeah. right? Only so adults do. do this. Yeah, I just I don't just, push the knife up. I push the avocado up slightly yeah. into the pit and, and then, pull it off. Right? You just do that for the rest of the avocados. Put it in, twist it a little bit. One time in Virginia Beach where we lived, before you were born, I cut myself really bad doing this. And the neighbor had to help put the bandages on because I couldn't stop the bleeding. Yeah. So you need to be very careful. No, the amount of avocados that you are using. And what do we do with the pits? You, you just throw them away. Why is that? It's because that they can't really... You because can't dogs them. love them, and I think yeah. my dog would probably love to chew on one of these. <laughs> yeah. She's, she's ended up having to get surgery before because she got into the trash can where there was eggshells and crab. No, it wasn't eggshells, it was just crab. Oh trash yeah, it was crab. Crab shells. That was not a good day, was it? $3,000 later, <laughs> and we had a healthy puppy. Say that, but say that you need to use, if you only want to use two avocados, what you do is you do half of an onion because you want to... Yeah, so basically it's... And then you use only two tomatoes. Normally I do two use, avocados, right? Yeah. And two tomatoes, but we like it so much we're going to double up the batch. Use a whole onion so we don't waste an onion. Probably three cloves of garlic and of course the two limes. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of score. You do that so that it's easier yeah, to carefully. get out. Can I scoop it out into the you can. Then? You can scoop it out, yes. Once I'm ready. I got the metal bowl because we're going to overflow. <laughs> yeah. We're going to do it in individual batch. Like we're making two separate batches. Yeah. Alright, so that's four. So, and that way if anyone joins late, they'll see us make the second batch. So we got those four there. So what I'm going to have you do is with your spoon. Scoop Should I do the first one? Sure. So, I mean, I think we'll get the, we'll get the step stool for you here. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull it out like that. Yeah. By using a spoon, you get all the avocado. I'll pick out some of the Little. spots. You gotta watch sometimes the stem. Yeah. You pull off the avocado and get in there. You don't want someone to bite in that stem. That could not feel very good potentially. Good so here, let's get the step stool for you. Yeah. Sometimes I need it, it just depends on what we need. Yeah, today I had pink waffles with strawberries, whipped cream, and sprinkles. Well, that sounds pretty cool. So here you go. Between the skin and the, and don't worry if you miss some, we can still get it out. Put your hand in here. Hold, hold the avocado. No. Yeah. Oops, we dropped some avocado. Good thing I counter twin. Go like this, just so you feel what it feels like. There you go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Here on the day. Uh, see, there was actually a little bit of stuff in there. There. You want me to do the next ones? Yeah. Go wash your hands. That's fine. I'll do this real quick. We'll let you mash it up. How about that? Okay. This is my first time helping make it. I know. We've, you've eaten it a lot. You help eat it, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. They're real simple there. Go ahead and throw this away. There's someone just the trash can over next to us on the side. Go step and throw. How about that? All right, so we continue doing this. So what I always do is after I do that, I don't really measure it out. I just kind of coat the top of it with salt, All right? Just eye it up. Why, why do we roll the limes? You roll it because it gets all the juice. Yes, it does. All right. What do you like to do with the pulp? Eat it. You do. Whether it's lemon or lime, you do not <laughs> care. Not. You like it both. Very cool. So after, so after we do both rounds, I'm probably going to be eating some lime. Yeah? You think? Mm -hmm. Alright, so there we've got the lime. And then I just take and I just pour the lime juice over top. That's a lot of lime juice. Uh, yeah, it was. That was a very juicy lime. Yeah. So oh, we'll throw those in the sink. Oh, you're going to eat those pop. That's right. And then we'll throw them in the sink. Because it helps. Fresh in the garbage disposal. Exactly. So then you exactly. don't have a smelly kitchen. Yeah. Who wants a smelly kitchen, right? Yeah. 
not me. Or you can, or if you have orange peels, you can do that too, or lemon peels. And then you can also put some in your trash can then too if you want to make your trash can smell good. Just so you don't have a stinky trash can. Yeah. Because most trash cans are very stinky. And what you need to do with the tomatoes is you need to scoop out all the pulp. Pulp and seeds, right? Yeah. Just so that you don't have like that gooiness and like liquidy. And what you do is you take the knife and you just cut it. Make sure you're very careful with it. Of course. Use my thumb and push out those seeds. Yeah. This is like one of my best birthdays ever. This is the best birthday ever because you're doing your first like cooking live stream thing. Yeah. Well, we're gonna work on getting you guys your own separate channel, all right? Yeah. And we we'll use we we'll use your dad's right now. A little Roy toy. But then we're gonna make stopping by, Whether you're watching this in live or. Or on replay. If you're watching replay, that means you're a subscriber. So thank you very, very much for your subscription. It means the world to us. Yeah. Helps support the stream. And we have a lot of plans for things we want to do, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so there we go. So what do I do with this? You just, you can throw it away. Yep, I throw it away. You know, we could probably use it for something. I've never really thought about it. Yeah, but. Because I don't like to waste anything if we don't have to. Yeah. I'm going to try to, let's push it back just a little bit. I got my. Wait, what was it? Was my, my it was like my third or fourth coffee today? Because I got one last year for my birthday, and I got you got a coffee. Who made you a coffee? You. You made yeah, me a latte. I made you a vanilla latte. That's right. A single though, with actual coffee. Mhm. Mm not decaf. Because you said that you're never putting decaf in there. Yeah, I'm not putting. I'm not going to contaminate my coffee machine with decaf coffee. How would it contaminate it? Well, it's just me being silly. It wouldn't hurt it, but... I know kids aren't really supposed to have coffee, but... Yeah. Oh. You can let it slip. We can let it slip. I can't wait till you're old enough. I don't want to wish the time away, but when we can sit there and... I can show you how to make the coffee so I don't have to make it, you can make it for me. Mm, yeah. I can probably start making it now. But... Turn you into a little barista, right? Mm. A barista. So welcome to the stream, everybody. I'm Little Roy Toy again. This is Glitter Pinkie Pie. It is Glitter Pinkie Pie's eighth birthday today. Yeah, that's why we I'm are doing birthday here. What are you doing today? We are making guacamole. Yes, we are. I'm trying not to cut off a finger on stream. Mm. What's important is you keep your fingers back. You don't keep yeah. your fingers extended. You keep them back a little bit. That way you're going to get the blade against your knuckle, if anything, uh, where it's not sharp. It's a good way to make sure you don't... You can always wear a cut glove, too. What's a cut glove? Uh, I actually have one in the drawer here, I think. It's a wire, like a wiry type mesh glove that you can't cut through. You lose some sensation and tactile sensation and whatnot, so I don't really like it too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this. I can. And the garbage is frozen. If anyone in the stream has an idea what I can do with the pulp and seeds from a tomato, um, Leave it I guess we could, I don't know. I don't know, I'll have to look that up. Think about that. All right, so smooth it off to the side. What are we going to cut next? You need to cut the onion and garlic. The onion and garlic, and since we're doing a double batch, just in case anybody drops by later. Is someone dropping by later? So, do you know something I don't know? It is your birthday, I mean. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Alright, so. What are you doing tonight for your birthday? I know we have cake. We're going to get some ice cream for you. We're going to do prime rib. Maybe you could stream on oh, how we to could, We could season the prime rib and I can get the machine yeah. out. Why not? We'll just... You know, we're not professionals here, you know, so if we have to move things around, that's fine. Yeah, know? we always do prime ribs for my birthday. Some years we do prime rib, some years we do clams, some years we do prime rib and clams. And then one year, whatever, I was like... Hey, sous chef, did you get clams today, like I asked? You can talk, go ahead. <laughs> did you forget, honey? You forget, it's all right. We'll get them. We'll do them this weekend at some point. You dig it, strawberries? Yeah. Put a strawberry whipped cream pink waffles. 
and sprinkles. They were rainbow sprinkles. I will try a piece of the garlic to see how long I can keep it in my mouth. How long I can keep it away from, keep mommy away from you? <laughs> Is mommy a vampire? I do a tiny itty bitty piece. Yeah? I used to eat spring onions. Uh oh. Right before the end. My eyes are watering. That is not mine. Ooh, yep, there, there you go. That is a potent onion. And, and you know the other thing is, if I don't wear my contacts, it lets the gas from the get to me a little quicker. Yeah, directly in the eye. It's been a while since I've cut onions without contacts and so let's light a candle. Why do we light a candle? Um, because it helped get rid of like the Yeah, it'd be better if I had just a tea light to sit right down by it, but I don't know any Do you know where any tea lights are, honey? Maybe this will help burn off some of the, uh, gas from the onion. Yeah. The fumes. Right now I am working on a fish chill blooming band bracelet, so yeah. Hey, Captain Mexico! Contacts are key, buddy. You're right, buddy. How you doing, man? Yeah, those contacts save my eyes. I mean, I could get goggles. I could, you know, I should go get my swim goggles. <laughs> I know where they are. That would look funny, huh? You're not using my rainbow gems. So, Captain Mexico, it's, it's, it's uh, well, her name is Isabel. We're using Ginger Princess, or Ginger Pinkie Pie is her name. No, it's Glitter! Good. Glitter Pinkie Pie, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. So that's going to be her name, I guess, on uh, her channel that we're going to create for her. She wants to do things like this, some IRL stuff. How you doing today, buddy? Thanks for stopping by. We really appreciate it. it this is what her birthday wish was, was to do what? Cook a stream. Do a, 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 a stream a about show. a cooking show type of deal. Yeah, not a cook. We're not very good at this, as you can tell. We haven't scripted anything. We just decided to do it today. It's what she wanted, so happy birthday, Sweetie. Uh oh, now the garlic comes. Um. Yes, guacamole. Guacamole. But I don't use cilantro because I have a bit of an allergy to cilantro, which it really is upsetting to my wife because she loves cilantro. So I cook no nothing with cilantro. And sometimes I'll have it here in the house and I'll, I'll, I'll do a double batch and put it in. But Mary Ellen, what do you. Mrs. Leroy Toy. What, we gotta come up with a name for you. Uh, <laughs> she already has a name. What is it? You remember? I forget. Oh, Shoe Queen 15. Hey, yeah. that's right. That's your name. Do you miss the cilantro or do you don't, don't mind it? Now the onions are making me tear. Well, I'm afraid to make her own channel. I gotta write your name down. Glitter Pinkie Pie's channel because she's gonna dwarf me and, and I'll be like, you know, throw me a bone, kid. But I'll host you. Is the garlic supposed to make your eyes cry? No, that's the onions, baby girl. <laughs> and then once when I was really little, I couldn't stand it, so I had to go into another room and I put a wet paper towel. From what I understand, Cafe Mexico with cilantro is it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like Brussels sprouts. I don't like Brussels sprouts either. Uh, they they taste like you know you get a, like a a bloody lip or something like that. Infinite with a man. Hey, happy birthday, Isabella. Enjoy making that guacamole, he says. What thank you. Oh, thank you. Infinite Weatherman's down in South Carolina, South Kakalaki. He is a good, good friend, as is Captain Mexico. Um, yeah, so, but with the, uh, apparently, it's a genetic thing uh, that people, like, I taste metal, like iron, like I've got a bloody mouth uh, from getting punched in the lip. Uh, so I don't like cilantro because it's very metallic tasting as are Brussels sprouts, so like Chipotle and those restaurants like that, it's, it's, a, it's no bueno for me. No quiero ir a Chipotle, nunca. That's horrible Spanish, I know. So we got the garlic cut up. I like Brussels sprouts. Oh, you wanted a piece of garlic, right? Yeah. There you go. No, that's too, too big. Too big? Oh, be brave. <laughs> no vampires will bother her tonight. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so something different, but she she said this is what she wanted for her birthday from me. I spend so much time with you guys, uh, you know, playing games, and you know, so much more we can do. We've done hikes where we streamed. Mm -hmm. uh, we picked peaches while we streamed. Uh -huh. Some IRL in real life, so it's pretty cool. 
if, if, and let me know because I had set this up on the laptop this afternoon, this morning at rather. So if the sound volumes are too loud on the mic, the music, the bossa nova jazz, smooth stuff in the back is not loud enough. You know, we'll, uh, this is kind of a trial run <clears throat> for us. And, we'll, and then when we get done with this, we're going to switch gears because we have a prime rib. A prime rib that I didn't take out of the fridge. <laughs> From Weikert's Egg Farm and Beef Farm here in Gettysburg. It's a 6.6 .6 pound prime rib roast. Why is it Ready. Roasted? That's blood. Ready to go in the rotisserie here in about an hour. So we'll season that when we get done doing this. Alright, so we've got the garlic, the onions, and tomato. What else do we need? And you need. Uh... Uh, no worries. <laughs> Captain Mexico says, I'm 50% because I can't judge. I'm 50% Mexican and, and all Minnesotan. I can only cuss, curse in Spanish. That's pretty funny. But as long as you do it grammatically correct. I have the Spanish of a, the, the equivalent of like a kindergartner, but they even have better vocabulary than me. And everything I say is in present tense, simple present tense. Uh, it's, it's just, my, my wife, she's, ah, she's fairly fluent. Uh, that's what she used to do. She was a double major and Spanish was her double major, and uh, she's rusty, but she can get right back into it in no time. Okay, you need to mash it. Alright, so you're going to mash it? So I like to hold the fatter side. Yeah. Alright. So there you go. So this is her mocajete, which was a wedding gift from my cousin up in Brooklyn. So thank you, Valerie, for the awesome... We use this... Between this or rotisserie, the two things we use the most from our wedding, from all the gifts we got. Are you done with work yet, weatherman? Are you uh, home already, having a beer? Starting your fry -ay? Not a Friday, it's fry -ay, right? I stole that from Ali G today. She said, I thought that was funny. All right, let me, let me jump in here and do this real quick. Yeah, that, that was a lot. So we don't, we may not even need the lime juice as much in the second one. So we're going to do half a lime, because this is a bit watery. Yeah, and we don't want watery. What you can do is you can maybe put it in like a strainer dish, maybe. No, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. We don't need to strain it. But I like extra salad, yes. All right, so that's basically what we do there. Now we're going to put all the ingredients up in there. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> you don't want to touch it? Why not? I don't like getting my hands dirty. It's probably a bad thing, but... All right, so there we go. We get the spoon, and we have our first batch of guacamole. I'm gonna get some of my water. Mm -hmm. You gonna you want to taste it, Isabel? Do you want to taste it from a spoon, or want me to get shit real quick? I'll taste it from a spoon. I have my little Jojo cup because apparently my birthday today is Jojo themed. I have unicorn. Who's Jojo? We don't even know who Jojo is. They might not even know who Jojo is. Do you guys know Jojo? Jojo Siwa. Jojo Siwa? She does like the, the big bows. And... Yeah. I'll go get my doll. Spell, come here. Come taste it. Yeah, she's um a singer. I just went to see her concert for my birthday a few like maybe like mm, one Delicioso. Mm. Delicioso. That's very good. That's so, good. there's our first batch. Throw it in the metal bowl here. Now we need to make our second batch. Yeah, I could taste the beer right now. I actually have a barley wine right here that I'm gonna do tonight. It's from uh, Millworks up in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. We stopped there for lunch after taking the kids to the Science Center yesterday. The Whitaker. The Whitaker Science Center. Because I went there for my first second grade field trip. Right. It was fun. We actually got a membership there. And All right. He beat me at one little game. Yeah, there's this game called Mindball. Have you guys seen this at these science centers where it's basically like, well, it's measuring alpha waves in your alpha brain? Alpha and theta waves. Alpha and what? Theta waves. Theta waves. So, um... And you put this thing on your head, it's got three contacts, right? 
sensors, and you're supposed to relax and think about putting the ball in your opponent's circle. Yeah. And it rolls. I, I was undefeated at school. She beat everyone in her class trip. Mm -hmm. Even the teachers? Mm -hmm. she, she was undefeated until daddy comes by and I just relaxed and I didn't pull any punches. I, I took it. You did beat me one time. Yeah, one time. But then I, I beat her like 10 times, maybe more. <laughs> then I decided I was done with and I went over to the walk, rock climbing wall. Yeah, so again, so what we're going to do a second batch here real quick. Just in case. I go ahead else. and uh, slice this up to score it, make it easier. It's harder to do when it's out of the skin. Yeah. Then use a spoon. A larger spoon helps sometimes if it's a larger avocado. And you can just peel it right out, separate it from the skin. So today for my birthday I got a luring band kit and what you do is you take different rubber bands and yeah you just put them on pegs and then you just kind of weave it to make little bracelets and you can make bows and stuff. So it's really cute. You're yeah. able to make different kinds. I'm working on a fishtail one right now. It's like a fishtail braid if you know what that is. I don't know what a fishtail braid is. It's like a braid where you um where you take three pieces of hair and you just take tiny sections of hair and you just add them in. And I forget how you do it but right, and again what do I do next you spell? You um Add some salt. Some salt, just no measurement here. Yeah, you can just add some, uh, some, some kosher you salt from Morton's. Yeah, if you don't like a lot of salt, you can do less salt. If you like a lot of salt, more salt, you can do a lot I'm of salt. This knife since I can use this one out. We're only going to do half a lime. Because this last one it was really limey. And then that means more pulp for me. Ooh, this lime is juicy. Yeah, they were very juicy. Yeah, wow, it's really juicy. So there we go. What are we gonna do with the other one? We slice it up and you can eat it then. Yeah. <clears throat> Come over, you're off camera. Oh, yeah. Be sure to check. Oh, that's my stream elements thing. Unfortunately, I don't have multiple screens here yet for this, so it's it's a little hard to read the check because it's really small. I need to change it, but we'll get there. All right, so now we're going to prep everything else. We'll start with the tomatoes. What kind of tomatoes again? Roma or plum. And what do we do to them? You cut, cut them up. For every two avocados that you do, that's how, for every avocado that you do, that's how many tomatoes. Equal parts, right? Yeah. And then what do we do? You um you scoop out the pit. It's like the you know the pulp and the seeds in the tomato. Yep. And then you just you know, if you're able to use your thumb to get out all, any of the extra. Extra what? Like, seeds? Yeah, and pulp. Pulp. It's like whenever people make salsa. Yeah. If you've ever made salsa and just threw the whole tomato in, right, it will actually make your salsa very runny. So the trick is to go ahead and don't include any of the, the seeds and pulp. That will it's okay you if you have just salsa. a little bit. Unless you like it. Bush light. Yeah. If you, it's okay if you still have like a little bit on it, just you won't, don't want I'm gonna eat it. Eat the pop. Go ahead. Okay, Good. I'll try one. Mm, isn't bad. Not bad at all. Alright. Hold on, Carlo down. He'll eat anything. Yeah, he, he does pretty much eat anything, doesn't he? Hey, Dad, there's still. Oh. There's still two more. Uh uh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I love tomatoes. Can I try one? Mm hmm. I want to be like Julia Child and just like killing a bottle of wine. Oh, you put a cup of wine in your mouth, in your belly, and an eighth of a cup in the dish, and then another cup in your belly. I remember my biology teacher in ninth grade showed us, uh, she was uh, doing a Julia Child thing for us, and for some reason Mrs. Grove uh, put it up in the, like the, the lady was getting drunk on camera. And it was quite funny because we're all sitting there like, man, she's really drinking a lot of wine. And I forget what it was. It was like a science thing she was trying to show us. And it was quite funny for us ninth graders. And how am I keeping from cutting my fingers as well? You keep your fingers back. Yep. So then if the knife touches.
touches you, it will only really get. Yeah, it'll just be the the, the, the flat side. Yeah, and it won't chew. I don't have the best knife skills. But for some people, it. they can just go chop, chop, chop. Oh yeah, stuff. you see some of the, the Iron Chef and those guys. Yeah. I watched, Come over here, Spell. You're off, you're I watched, you're off camera. I watched the junior one sometime. Yeah, I'll move over, okay? I, I think I moved over. It's my fault. Yeah, on Food Network, they have a kid's one, too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Captain Mexico, have a great day. Enjoy your weekend, buddy. Stay safe, whatever you do. Enjoy that, that bush light or whatever it is you want to drink responsibly, and we'll catch you on the flip side, bro. All right, so there's that. Let's go ahead and pitch this. So we're done with the tomatoes there. Scrape those off to the side. Now it's time for the onions. Onions, ugh. Put the candle there just to help protect my eyes a little bit. I don't even know if it really works. It might be an old wives' tale, but if I think it works, then it works, right? <laughs> Not always. Like if you think that, if you think that fairies, if you think that fairies can make pillows or shoes, they don't think that's true. I think they're made in factories now. What do you think? Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Not from elves. Well, it might be if you get shoes from Santa, because once I did, they're like my favorite sneakers to wear right now. They're still See, a little life bit Life skills scared. need work. The only time that elves make shoes it's probably when Santa needs them. Yeah, probably. Cause I I have a pair of shoes that I got. Do you think, elf, do you think those shoe make shoe making elves are on unemployment these days? And they might just Santa might just have factories to make everything out. I don't know, he might. <laughs> and he might send them. Hey them trooper. Them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy birthday little Roy to a junior senior one. <laughs> oh Trooper up in Canada, he says happy birthday, Isabella. Thank you got the you. notification and wanted to just stop by and say hello. I'm gonna start crying because the onions are really uh, pungent. <laughs> Next time we do this, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, daddy wear swim goggles. <laughs> no. Why not? There's... You're not wearing my rainbow rhinestones. Go wear mine. Yeah, those would probably be too small for you, anyways. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. You ready for the weekend, Trooper? All right, well, what's the last thing we need to do? Besides not cry on stream. <laughs> Chop up the garlic. Chop up the garlic. You use about three Where's cloves, right? There it is. I'll be right. We're just gonna use two. There you go, there you go. So we already did one batch here, as you can see. It came out very nicely. Right, but a mocajete is only so large, and it, I'd rather do it like this. So then, like micro batches. Yeah. Well, you could do like four or five, which that would be a lot. Yeah, it would be. And remember, Isabella said for her birthday she didn't want me to stream at all. I could stream when she was sleeping in the morning, which I did, and uh, it was a shorter stream, and that's fine. But now here we are. She's like, thought about it. She's like, actually, I want to stream. So this is a birthday present to her. We should start doing this more often, don't you think? Yeah, we could stream making pasta. Ooh, would you guys like to watch that? We have a KitchenAid mixer here behind us. It's supposed attachment. to be for mommy, yeah, but... but... Yeah, it was a Mother's Day president. President, uh, I can't talk. Present, Mariana? Shoe queen? It was a Mother's Day present, the... the uh, pasta. Pasta maker. And uh, she's never actually used it herself. She's she's helped me do it. But uh, she does the baking. I do the cooking. I do some baking. Yeah, you help her. I'm yeah. not a big baker. I'm probably going to use my Easy Bake Oven some then. So maybe we can stream that because I just got a bounty kit thing. Be it's cool. for um, my Easy Bake Oven. I have a Num Nums one. If you don't know what those are, I might go grab one then. It's not like a normal one, it's one that you just get out of like a little yogurt thing. It looks like a yogurt container. And it came with some nail polish, so that was cool. It's like a little crepe wrap. It's roger that, roger that, there it is. 
So basically what they are, they're good smelling little things. Oh, so we got the garlic there, so we're ready to go. So what do we do next? You put all that in, oh, mash up all the yeah, avocado. Good job, baby girl. And of course, Isabella is going by the name now. She's picked the name for her stream character or whatever, her, her moniker is... Glitter Pinkie Pie. Glitter Pinkie Pie. And Pinkie Pie is My Little Pony, if you don't know. And if you don't know what My Little Pony is, it's a show where it's basically just a whole bunch of like unicorns. No, oh, I, think, I think Trooper's a brony, man. My Little Brony. Pegasus. It's just a girly show. Good job. Isabel, you did really good at this. I hardly had to do anything. Mm. Excellent mm. work. I've never actually helped make guacamole before, so this is my first time ever doing this. You're doing an excellent job. And this is also my first time. You know what's really good? What? You can take that. No, you have to wash your hands right now, but take your fingers, and put it on your finger, and lick your fingers, and then you rinse that off in the sink. All right, and then wash your hands. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do this. You know, one thing I used to do is uh, when they were kids, um, you know, we I made all their baby food. Not once did our children, either one of them, have Gerber from a jar or can or whatever. Um, I did everything organic that I could find. You know, sometimes you had things that you, they wouldn't have, depending on time of season and such as that. But I had a, bought, it gave me a reason to buy a Vitamix. It was a good reason to buy it because we love that thing as well. But uh, so I did that. But one thing I really, really, really enjoy, and if you like, you know, artisan sandwiches, you know, things like that, like something with like a ham. A slice of ham, some chicken, some avocado, you know, some Havarti cheese, something like that, is actually if you take an avocado and banana equally, right, one, one to one, and you uh, put it in a Vitamix and do it till it's nice and creamy, and put that in a sandwich, or just eat it, I mean, it's good. The kids loved it as kids, and I tried it, I was like, this is kind of gross, but it's supposed to be really healthy for them. I did it, and it was phenomenal. So I like avocado and banana on a sandwich. Might even do that on a burger. That might be really good with an egg and some bacon. Bacon makes everything better. Hi, right, Isabel. Can I get it salsa? Just put it on the counter, it's fine. Cause I'll wash it again now. Do you wash your hands good? Soap and water? Mm -hmm. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. I was like, did I the There's a paper towel for you then. Oh, go my Princess Powderpuff. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to see the chat. It's not your fault, it's mine. I, I, I'm not really set up for this. Hey, Shoe Queen 15, there she is. That's, Shoe Queen 15 is Mrs. Little Roy Toy, for those of you who don't know. So she's, she's sitting on the chair watching us. Here you go. Dry your hands there. Good enough. So we have finished. We'll try this batch and we'll see if one is better than the other. How about that? We okay. could do, Daddy, we could do like a taste test challenge where you mix them up and you could see and we could see which one is which. Maybe Shoe Queen wants to come out here and try it. That's what she thinks. She doesn't want to be a camera. She's like, not on camera. Not on. You're so pretty. Come here. Come here. Taste this. Mm. It's good. Good stuff. Excellent. I think I know cilantro because I am yeah, kind of slight allergy. I just don't like it. Cilantro is no, no good for me. I don't. You still make me cry. Well, it shouldn't. What do you guys think? Maybe, uh. She Queen 15 wants to come out here and try this on camera. Yeah. Come, try, come on. Come, come be a camera with us. Introduce yourself to stream. Come on. Don't be shy. You're pretty. Really pretty. I don't know how I got you, but I definitely married up, as you're going to see here in a minute. Come here. Come here, please. Come here. I can just turn the camera around and make it make them see you. Well, at least come here behind it and, and try the guacamole. Come on. Tell me which one is better. 
I don't think you can tell. So we're gonna change gears here after I wipe up the counter and stuff, and we're going to season the prime rib for Isabella's dinner. And show you how we do that. Might as well. So. Yeah, I messed up this. And... Like coax it in. This is the first batch. And there's the second batch for it. Good. Hey, Daddy. We'll set that up for you then, right, baby? Yes! Yeah, you love the white shirt? <laughs> John Carlo. Has the matching He has the matching shirt that says regional manager. Take that in, Which one's better? I'm gonna say. Wait, put it in the set? Yeah. Alright, so I'll rinse out the mocha. Sometimes I leave it in mocha. Hey, we have people over, and you know. It's funny because we have people come over and they're like, oh, we don't like guacamole, and they try mine, and then we went to a party last weekend. And uh, I took guacamole I made, and there was guacamole from Chichis or some, I don't know. Chili's. Is Chichis even around anymore? Chichis, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they, my, mine went before, what, uh, before the Chili's. So bear with us one second here to change gears. It's important to rinse your guacamole immediately. Because it can really get stuck in there. You don't use soap, right? Wait, why don't you use soap? Because it's seasoned. You've seasoned it. When you first get it, you have to season it and cure it with uh, salt and lime juice, basically. So here we go. Prime rib. My personal favorite thing in the world. If you, could, if you could only eat clam prime rib, which would it be? I'm dead. Yeah, good choice. Because you can just go out to the ocean and get a clam, right? I saw an article headline that uh, eating red meat causes global warming. Yeah? So I'm trying to eat as much as I can to reduce global warming. But I'm only one man, as uh, what's his name, Ron White would say. So we we're basically cleaned up from that. How does that help to do it? I don't know. I didn't read the article. I didn't think it was worth my time. Yeah, me neither. If I was you, I would read it. Well, I might because it's about eating more meat. And... This is fun. She's over there. She's eating pulp off of the juicer, the strainer, whatever. Sorry if you hear the dishwasher in the background, any kind of ambient noise. It'll be interesting to see interesting to see how everything was picked up. I brought the Yeti mic up, I brought the camera up from downstairs. Yeti! Got the, it's, it's the name of the company. Um, I have the, uh, the, the laptop, we're using the front camera for that, so that way I can actually yeah. switch scenes and see what we're doing, make sure the sound levels are good. All right, so. So this is the primary. Should I just put this in the sink? That's fine. Can I try to six, nine out? Pound. You can take this one. Look at this thing. This thing is gorgeous looking. Nice fat on there. I need to get my twine because i got to tie it. Why are you tying it? Well, because we're going to put it in the vertical rotisserie. So the only bad thing about buying it frozen, this was flash frozen um, at White Egg Farm, the Richard does it farm that turns it over. They buy it frozen. So it's been in the freezer for a while, out in the garage, and I went ahead and thawed it out, cooled it out on Tuesday. So uh bear with me, I'm just looking at something. Things look different. 
Alright. So anyway, we're going to uh, season this. But anyway, the one thing that I like when I get it fresh from the butcher, they'll go ahead and they get super sharp knives and they'll, they'll, they'll leave some more fat on and they'll cut the fat away, right? That way I put seasoning in there, right? And then I can tie it or I can have them tie it. Typically they just tie it. So let's find the tie here. Wash my hands real quick. Favorite baby girl. Glitter uh, Pinkie Pie. What? Here you go. Go sweat this. Okay. That was easy. I thought you were going to ask me to get your mocha hammock. Nah. I don't think you would really do that for a Alright, so. I wasn't ready to do this. I wasn't planning on this right now. So we're going to do our seasoning. Good amount of salt in there. And nothing is, you know what I'm gonna do? Pepper grinder, put it on as coarse as it will go on the selector. Just grind away. Why is coarse? Oh yeah, I think it's extra sugar. Could you use a pepper shaker? No, it wouldn't be good if you just use already ground pepper. Oh, and that's a salt grinder, right? I do, but I don't use a salt grinder, I just use the Morton salt. Mm. Look, of course, because it's already coarse. Mm. I'm going to do a dry rub on this. Uh, let it sit on the counter for about an hour. What's that? After you just dry rub. Yeah, I'll put her in the basement for you. No, it's fine. She won't hurt me. She's not bothering on me. She's not sleeping. Onion powder, garlic powder, paprika. Oh, what else am I going to do today? And it's never always the same. Sometimes I mix it up. Some that being previous. Throw that in there. Going down to the basement. There's a thing in the washer. Welcome to the stream again, I'm Little Roy Toy, I'm with uh, Glitter Pinkie Pie, my daughter who is eight years old today, it's her birthday, her birthday wish was to do a stream where we made guacamole or cooked or did something. She, her and my son both want to be content creators. We, John Carlos like, hey, if we ever become rich YouTubers? <laughs> I'm like, well, first and foremost, I'm on Twitch, I'm on YouTube. Yeah, you are. Well, I'm on YouTube, but I don't, I don't put anything up there. Onion powder. You only put like one Not or two Alright, so we got everything there. We need to put this back. We'll come back then tonight and do the, uh, well, later on we start the, we'll do a quick stream of the uh, vertical rotisserie going. Uh, my buddy Mark Rodriguez down in Austin, him and that's what they uh, picked us up the uh, vertical rotisserie for our wedding gift. They weren't able to make the wedding, but they did send us probably the second most used gift that we've received from anybody, which was really nice. Dad, maybe you can see the counter off after you do the pump. Oh, no. What's that? Maybe you could move everything to the living room, so then maybe I could, I could clean up all the, um, all the stuff from all the presents, and then I could do a living mm -hmm. game. Maybe. I just cut this off. How? On the On the parchment paper thing. What? I didn't know parchment paper could be dangerous. It's alright. I'm not bleeding. Alright, so. Tie it 
tie this off. I'm not very good. I, I try to watch the butcher when he does this. I'm not good at tying it off. See, they're already slit. So if anyone in the stream knows how to do this better than me, and you want to instruct me, that would be awesome. Twist it. Ah. Come on. Third time to be a charm, right? <laughs> Boom! Put that one, clip that one. What did you, um... I broke the string. I'm too tight. I was asking... Yeah, those guys are so good at uh, watching, like, I'm in awe. I was asking if you put the rubber I, on. I need to get a job at a uh, butcher. I learned how to butcher. How about that? No, you're not doing anything on the property. I know what you're going with. What am I going with? You're going with deer meat. Venison? Yes. Don't want to see you with a deer. Can you give me a dog tree, by the way? Mm, I guess we can go tomorrow early. Okay. What time's the birthday party for uh, Madison? 11? Huh? Oh, like 9 or 10, maybe. Okay, okay. And then we could leave because they aren't that far from town. But I. Oh, we wouldn't be able to do this. Well, I think it might be a drop off party. Oh, uh, there's no drop off party when it's off in the Langs. Because yeah, yeah. Mr. Lang has much beer for us. For me, not you. But, much good beer. Daddy? We have to get ready for football but, season. College, um, college football season is like two weeks away, baby girl. I don't think. He's coming. Um, I don't... Hang on. Him too, right? No. What are you talking about? That's not cool. I'll take him and Archie, though. Do you ask? All right. All right. So, not the best tie off job anyone's ever done. Right, so, now. Some more paper here. Let's wash the hands. Birthday today, huh? And I got, and it came with tattoos and the hair, and a few hair ties.
Why do you put oil on it? That looks good. Just the light coating, bro. Are you putting the rub on? Yeah, we'll do the rub. Wait, why is that thing, like, why does that thing look so good? What, that? That. What do you mean? Like, the vessels. It's rubber, so it's just a rubber brush. Silicone, whatever. If we so, ever go to a Penn State game, I can make a Penn State game. I mean, if we ever go to a Penn State, we could go to Penn State game. Yeah, but if we go to one again, because I have, um, I have like Penn State blue and white um, things. Very cool. Like, it's crazy. I like the I should have made one for on this one, but it did. She loves Penn State. Yeah, but I don't have a kid. I didn't have a kid. Olive oil helps the seasoning stick. And this is a rather large, normally it's like a four to five pound, this is 6.689 6 pounds. So this can take at least two hours uh, in the rotisserie. I think it's set it at 350, and we'll pull it up then a little bit. I'll show you at least what that looks like, and we'll continue a little bit later once we put it in. I could put some really cool music on and just let the rotisserie spin. You can watch that. What do you think about that? You're gonna switch everything over to the living room then. Maybe. So there we go. It is seasoned. Fat. We will just let this sit like that. anymore. I've seen a horizontal one now. Rubber band, beads, F-clips, band kit. It's a looming wheel? Looming band kit. Looming band kit. Hey, I can just do the little mic right here. And I'll just do the rotisserie. So yeah, this is the rotisserie right here. You need to put some foil in there because it's rusted out a little bit. We've used this thing to make, never, it was funny, so when we, we registered for this uh, at Macy's, come here, Smith. So when we registered for this at Macy's, um, my wife was like, you know what, when are we ever going to do a rotisserie chicken? Right? How many times have you done that shooting? Never, never. But we've done peaches. You take some fresh peaches, slice them, take the pit up, uh, slice them in half, and then put, uh, what was it, maple syrup and cinnamon. Right? Um, and I think some melted butter as well on. And uh, put them in, and you, you let them roll for like half an hour in there, and it roasts the peaches. We've done roasted garlic in here. 
Uh, we've done. Uh, Honey roasted garlic. Yeah, we, what else have we done? We've done. You've done prime rib. Prime rib. <laughs> done, uh, My personal food. Pork, the pork loin in this. We've done peppers and sausage uh, in the basket, which is really nice. Italian sausage. Wait, where's the basket? So, are you coming over here? Say hi, John Carlo. Uh, Come here. <laughs> Here's one. Huh. Yeah. This is like, these are little pegs. All right, so. I think that's basically gonna do it for us right now. What do you think? I keep wanting to call you Isabella. What do you think, uh, glitter Pinkie Pie? And Pinkie Pie was also the name of my fish. Yes, it was. God rest her soul. So, you right. killed it. I didn't kill it. Stop trolling, she got kid. sick. All right, well, I wanna thank everyone for stopping by Cat Mexico. Um, Shoe Queen, who's sitting right over there. Mrs. Liberato. Uh We also had what we had, uh, Trooper, thank you for stopping by, buddy. Uh, have a great weekend up there. I might see you later tonight. Um, well, weatherman, you can't you can never forget Weatherman. And I know that catches us in replay as subscribers. Thank you so very much for the subscriptions. And we will catch you guys uh, when, we think. Well, maybe we can do the rotisserie and then turn it on a little bit. Maybe we can do the looming thing, we'll see. Yeah. All right. Because basically, I I'm so waiting on it because I can't even get a fish. Right. Hey, well, thank you again, and we will see you guys later. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and. Bear with me, guys. Alright guys, take it easy, uh, and we'll see you tonight. Cheers. Stay frosty.